call me Mullet Daddy? What the fuck? Hey, you know what time it is? <laughs> it's White Boy Summer. White Boy Summer! If I don't get 100k by the end of the year, <laughs> bitch, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Are you ready? Alright, welcome well people. Relax, relax. Relax, what's dog in Zulu? Inja <laughs> in What? Inja. Inja? Inja Lala day. Oh, brother. <laughs> yeah, man, like that. No. Anyways, if you guys have watched my most recent drop on the main channel, that's Wednesday, you would have seen that dickhead with the dreads that was party pooping the interview. Basically, there's a whole story there, and I told y'all in the video, I'm gonna give you a full story time. So it was Thursday night, no? Thursday night, me and BT, we head out to YT on Kloof, right? We're just gonna go there, chill with some friends, get a bit of content, as you guys have seen, obviously, in the video. So we rock up to YT. We go to the table upstairs. My boys are there. We're having a good time. There's people on either side of us on the tables. Maybe not initially, but by the time like the drinks get there and whatever, whatever. Oh, for, what the fuck is this? We go to these tables, we sit down. I'm sitting now and I'm wearing like just a sweater. So I'm not wearing like a big coat or anything like that. And I'm not a big person. So I'm sitting on the table, chilling, relaxing. All of a sudden there's a, like, you know that brush that you feel, right? When you're out with people. Fuck you, kid. So I turn around. This gargantuan male, bro. You all already seen him on the video. He's probably like six foot tall. Treads down to his back. He's literally like exaggerated with 150, but he's definitely like 100 to 110. Easy. Minimum. BT saying minimum. So I feel this fucking brush and it's his nyash. Cause as he was getting into the bench, man. Huh. That, you... <laughs> so he brushes his shit on me, right? I turn around expecting an apology. He didn't even notice. So I'm like, <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna let it slide. So we're still enjoying, enjoying, enjoying. I feel a fucking in my ass, right? I'm like, what the f I turn around. This man is swinging back out the bench and he hit me with his leg. ETV, Saturday night, Jean Claude Van Damme, this one. Just so I look at him. He notices that he hit me, and needless to say, at this point, if you guys didn't figure this out already, bro is drunk out of his fucking mind. Like, gone, gone, gone. But he looks at me and he goes, Sorry. And I'm like, I kind of nodded. I start rotating. He's like, Actually, I'm not sorry. And I'm like, What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm just thinking, this guy's a whole dickhead. So, if y'all don't understand the layout, it's like school benches. You know what I'm saying? It's literally like a table, bench, bench. So, if you're on this bench and then there's another bench for the next table, you're like right next to each other. So at this point, one of the people that's with us brings shots to the table. They're like, everybody have a shot, everybody have a shot, right? I didn't really take a shot. I didn't take that shot, no? Later, I took a shot. This guy, what should we call him? I call him Jumbo Shrimp on the main channel. Is that relevant? What else can we call him? Shrek. Loki man was moving like Shrek. Shrek is kind of like an OG character, though. We don't want to disrespect Shrek. Mark Henry, bro. Weakest man in the world. That's what he is, bro. He's Hawk Menry. You understand? Because we don't want to disrespect Mark Henry. You get me? So, Hawk Menry sees us taking shots. Guess what this man does? He reaches across from his table. Comes in between two people at the table. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, at this point, and these aren't my shots, which is why I didn't take personal offense to this. Okay, I'm lying. I took personal offense, but it's why I didn't, like, I guess, say anything about it. Because it's not my shots, not my money. I just get up from my side, because I'm on his side of the table. And I walk to, like, kind of on the other side, on this side of the pillow so now i'm looking at him this side now and because the rest of my friends are nice people no one tells me can't take the shot and but uh, you know at the end of the day it's just a shot what's it like 20 bucks because i'm fucking rich and you're fucking poor yeah no one says anything so he takes the shot then one of our boys sim he was actually in the video on wednesday I don't know how loud these geese are for you guys right now. It's actually a bit mad. The the wildlife here is insane. We got some guinea fowl, there's geese, there's more guinea fowl over there. It's like a whole like So anyways, where was I? So Sim gets up to go to the toilet, right? Hawk Menry takes Sim's seat. He sits down at our table, starts talking to our woman. I was like, yo, this is our lifestyle. Oh, I didn't do anything at this point. I'm just like, this guy's a fucking clown. My nice Loki getting ruined because I don't like it when people take small offenses out against me. It like puts me off. <laughs> that run ate my ass, bro. Huh? He was moving mad, even touching me up like on some sexual. Well, he touched you up. On my arm. No. No. When I went to go get the wine, BT saying that bro was causing trouble, Shay was telling him to get the fuck out, whatever, whatever. For those of you who don't know how uh, YT works, usually you get a bottle of wine, you put it in like an ice cooler, and it's just, just on the table, and people just take whatever they want. So the night goes on, we do the interviews, as you saw in the Wednesday drop, blah, blah, blah. We're chilling, I'm starting to vibe out a little bit, and everyone sort of moved away from the table at this point, right? So we're all standing in like kind of the alleyway, we're just vibing, I guess, just talking, blah, blah, blah. 
who do I see but Hawk Menry stomping down to the edge of the table, going to one of our wine bottles on the table, no? reaches in, grabs his thing, starts to walk away with the wine bottle. Confusion of the highest order. It wasn't full, but it had like maybe like that much wine, like at least a glass. And and f forget about how much wine was inside the bottle. It's the principle at the end of the day. I don't care how much the wine bottle costs. It could be a thousand rand, could be a hundred rand, could be ten rand. Who are you to take possessions that don't belong to you? Okay, okay. I feel a colonization joke loading in the comments. No problem. You guys are still salty. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm Swiss at the end of the day. It's not even my business. That's not me. Anyways, I literally say to him, right? I'm standing on the outside of the table. I'm like, hey. <laughs> and guys, keep in mind, you know the size of this man. Me, I'm like 5'8, 77 kgs, right? I'm like, hey, put our fucking wine bottle back. Do you know what this guy does to me? He looks me in the eyes and he goes, it's fine. I beg your pardon? <laughs> I was absolutely bewildered. So I was like, Sorry? <laughs> I was like, if you don't put that fucking wine bottle back right now, though. So he like, he's not even aggressive. It's like he's sulking. He like takes the wine bottle. He's like, like puts it back. Then Temba, and I, I hope Temba's watching this video. Temba, and I was saying this to Shay today. Temba is also not the biggest individual, right? But he was here in the guy's face. I'm like, oh, what, what, what the fuck are you going to do? While I'm standing on the other side of the table. But I was also getting raved at this point. I was like... Okay, yeah, we can go. But I guarantee that Timbo was only doing that because he thought that BT was filming. I guarantee that on everything, Timbo was doing that for clout. Keep in mind that Hawk Menry is twice the size of Timbo. And Timbo's in his face telling him shit and bro isn't doing anything. He's just sort of standing there like this. Also, I forgot to mention, and BT doesn't know this part of the story. I only found out from Shay today. In the main video on Wednesday, when he brings his dreads over and I sort of move my drink away, he did that because a drink was spilt on his back. And you know who spilled that drink? Label. And that's the second drink that Label spilt. And then when he turned around, Shay spun some web of lies to calm him down. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are we allowed to bait our friends on the channel? What's gonna happen? Shay gonna fight me? Come on now. So then, after that, the guy left. But uh, yeah, that's like the most peculiar interaction I've had with a stranger this year. Even though guy was messed out his mind. Oh, well, let's keep in mind as well that he had a friend group of like four people that weren't keeping him in check. Like what, do they just take this guy out and let him roam free? There's no decorum, bruh. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically the story time. What are we on? 10 minutes. 10 minutes only. Where's part he secured a girl, bro? How? Hold on, bro. How? Huh? The white girl. The white girl, he secured her, bro. Loki, that girl was secured when they got there, like they know each other. Nah, they didn't know each other. You think so? That's fucking wild. But I think the girl was thirsty, though. Huh? <laughs> I mean, well, she wasn't really banging like that anyways. We don't want to throw shade. Like, we don't want to be bitches. But we got to be honest. And sometimes being honest makes you a bitch. I'd rather be an honest bitch than a lying nice guy. Anyways, um, I'm just taking up time now for the video. Because this is all I had planned. Yeah, well, we need 12 minutes of footage, bro. What are we going to do? And once I edit this down, it's like 8 minutes. What's up, guys? We're here today. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what else. Drop video ideas for June. Let me know what you guys are thinking for the main channel. Second channel, I'm kind of sorted. But let me know for video ideas for June. Yeah, that's it. Peace, people. Where do you reckon you think you can find it? <laughs> I saw one get it over there, but it was white. So it obviously has a loving home. <laughs> Yo, welcome, people. Okay, so the video idea today is giving kids Uber rides down to lower, and then we're gonna ask them some questions that people are dying to know the answers to on the way down. Also, we, we didn't plan this. We showed up to campus to ask some regular questions, but campus was dry. So what do we do? We improvise, we adapt, and we overcome. Bars. Boss, yo, are you going to lower? Are you going to lower campus? Oh fuck, the top of the spot is the other one. Kidnapping plan in motion. <laughs> we just crashed the fucking whip. <laughs> imagine, imagine. Imagine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they said Tugwa was this one, I think. Those don't look like students, bro. But like, why would they be standing here if they're not students? <laughs> This is so funny, bro. Hi, bro. Can you just call that girl in front of me, please? Hi. Are you going to lower campus? Yes. Can I speak to you, please? Don't worry. I'm not going to kidnap you. It's okay. I have a YouTube channel. We're filming a YouTube video. If you let me take you down to lower, I'll just interview you on the way and then you hop up. Oh, you don't want to be on YouTube? Oh, that's fine. Oh, thanks. Okay, cool. Then I'll just give you a ride for free then. For subscribing, no problem. <laughs> don't worry. We won't turn the camera on you. What's your name? Cassandra. Cassandra, man. Cassandra. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, we're not gonna turn the camera on Sunday. Just wanna be on the fucking channel. <laughs> but basically, okay, you cool commenting without being on the channel. We're supposed to come to campus and ask people questions, but campus is dry as a bitch. So the video idea we want to do is giving students Uber rides and then we like interview them on the way down. Okay. Do you think that's lit? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's in down. 
you. And me. Yeah, the only reason we're giving Lizanda an Uber ride is because you subscribe to the channel. So if y'all subscribe to the channel, who knows? Maybe one day you get a free Uber ride down to campus. Oh, you might want to strap it. Ding, 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 